Hey everyone, welcome to this, your next installment of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. This is your source for informative and timely tech topics about Golden Gate software, data replication, and cloud data integration. The industry-leading data replication software for more than 20 years, Golden Gate is still innovating today and helping thousands of leading brands get the most business value out of their data. As a multi-cloud capable replication engine, Golden Gate helps customers maintain seamless integration across their public clouds. But what makes Golden Gate really special is the breadth and attention to enterprise class solutions for databases, cloud, big data, NoSQL, and streaming technologies of all kinds, not just Oracle. Golden Gate's rock solid foundation is the best in class for data high availability, high speed transaction replication, and data warehouse loading. But modern data challenges require the most innovative solutions and Golden Gate delivers on world-class data lake congestion, stream data processing for real-time ETL, and advanced stream analytics that include geofencing, time series processing, and machine learning integrations. As a platform for modern data integration, Golden Gate just can't be beat. Well, that's about it for the intro. Let's get on with today's tech topic. Hello. In this short video, I would like to show you how quickly you can provision a Golden Gate Stream Analytics instance on the OCI marketplace. My name is Thomas Wengel, and I'm a product manager for the Golden Gate Stream Analytics product. As a first step, you would need to open your internet browser and go to the URL, https cloudmarketplace.oracle.com slash marketplace slash OCI. In the search box, you need to type Golden Gate and click the go button so this would display multiple tiles of oracle golden gate products so you need to click on the oracle golden gate stream analytics tile so this would open up the product overview page of oracle golden gate stream analytics now let me explain in short what is stream analytics product uh, before uh, we get on to the provisioning details. Stream analytics is the ability to constantly calculate statistical analytics while the data is in motion. Stream analytics allows real-time data management using data pipelines and active transformations. Do real-time monitoring and also real-time analytics of live streaming data. Here, Oracle Golden Gate Stream Analytics is the only end-to-end -end product which provides real-time data integration, applying event correlation patterns, data pre-processing and enrichment, and also machine learning solutions that enables multiple streams of data integration and real-time change data capture across variety of data sources, such as databases, um, you know, other real-time events, message queues and IoT sensor data so that you can process them in big data scale using Kafka and Spark technologies. So here is a big list of benefits of Oracle Stream Analytics and in addition to that what I would like to add here is that the Oracle Stream Analytics marketplace image contains pre-configured ready-to-use cloud instance which contains multiple independent products. The components of this image includes Oracle Enterprise Linux version 7.7, .7, Oracle Stream Analytics 19.1.0.0.2, Oracle Golden Gate 19C, Apache Spark uh, 2.4.3, Apache Kafka 2.1.1, MySQL Enterprise Edition uh, 8.0.18, Java SDK um, version 8. So these are the multiple different uh, independent products that are included in this single uh, uh, image. And if you need more information, uh, it's available in the product documentation and you can find it in this link here. Okay, so now let's go into um, how to get this provision. So you need to go to this get app um, button and click it. So once you click it, um, it'll say that you know Golden Gate Stream Analytics version 19.1.0.0.2 is available to be installed on multiple OCI regions. 
So you can see that there are um, a lot of OCI regions that are available to be installed. So I would um, um, choose US East Ashburn and then uh, you need to click on to the sign in button. So now this takes you to the um, you know Oracle Identity Cloud Service sign in. So I've selected a specific cloud tenant. So if you want to change uh, your OCI cloud tenant, you can click on the change cloud tenant. Or if you do not have provided it earlier, uh, it'll ask you to provide it for the first time. Now uh, you'll need to select uh, the continue button in the Oracle Identity Cloud Service. So this will open up the detailed OCI marketplace image for uh, provisioning along with the stack. So, um, so this has the details about version uh, when it was released. The standard version is available for 30 days trial and the promotional version is available for um, uh, you know existing cloud customers um, who have been a previous cloud customer with Oracle. Uh, prior to um, May 2019, or if they have um, or customers who have Oracle Golden Gate for big data licenses uh, for on-prem. So we have two versions that are available marked here as default and promotional. I mean, the, the, the binaries are same, but uh, it's only the differences on the licensing. So default will take you to uh, the standard Oracle terms and conditions. So you can um, take a look at the terms and conditions. If not, you could choose the promotional if you are. Um, so the, the promotional uh, conditions are mentioned in the um, agreement here. So you represent that you have an active entitlement of Oracle Pass IAS uh, universal credit services as of May 31st. So these customers um, could use this promotion scheme or you are replicating to Oracle Cloud Service uh, uh, as the Oracle Pass and uh, AAS uh, Universal Credits. So they'll also have a privilege to use the service um, free until December 2020. Okay, so um, I'm gonna provision a default service. Now what I need to do is I need to select my compartment. So I'm gonna select my compartment here and I select the checkbox and I click launch stack. So once I click launch stack, it'll give a default name and uh, you can change the name if you want. I'm gonna choose the default name as it is. Um, if you wanna add any description, you could do that or you could move on to the next button. And once you click the next button, uh, the step two that you need to configure the variables. So the display name that you would like to configure um, and then you need to select the VCN. So I'm going to select my VCN which I've created already. Select the subnet compartment, my subnet compartment and I'll select my uh, subnet. Similarly, I select my uh, instance uh, settings and I have an option to select four different VMs. That is with four CPU, eight CPU, 16 CPU, and 24 CPU. So I'll select a version as um, eight CPU one. And uh, I've also checked the assigned public API. This is very important um, while uh, selecting this option because if you don't assign the public IP, what will happen is you will not be able to access uh, uh, this machine using um, a browser. And now you need to create an SSH publicly, public key and, uh, and give that details here. So I'm gonna paste my SSH public key. And after that, it'll ask you to review and you click create. So once you click create, what happens is that it creates a, a resource manager job, you'll get accepted and um, it started at this time and um, you'll see that the image will get created in um, three minutes. 
Okay, now that um, we see that the uh, job is remote, uh, resource manager job is succeeded and it was completed in, uh, you know, uh, just around three minutes, uh, 5.25 p.m. and 5.28 uh, p.m. So it's completed in three minutes. You can see the complete uh, log, Terraform log, if you're interested. Uh, if not, you know, go back to, um, you know, your compute instances and you will see that you need to select to your compartment you'll see that an instance is created with um, uh, vm 2.8 standard so you click on the instance and you'll see that there is a public ip that is assigned um, for this system so now Now what you need to do is you need to um, use a console um, command prompt and then uh, s copy this IP address and use an SSH uh, um, command using your private keys. You need to log into this machine. So you need to press yes and now we are inside uh, this machine, which is provisioned in three minutes. So run an ls command. You can see that um, uh, there is a file called as readme. The present working directory is home opc. So I'll open the uh, the file uh, readme.txt. So why are we opening this file? This file contains the passwords for the database as well as OSA UI and if also for uh, the other details such as you know what is the spark admin password and um, how you can change your OSA uh, admin password or uh, MySQL root password. Hey everyone thanks again for tuning in to this edition of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. Be sure to check out all the other cool tech talks that are out there and stay tuned for more as they become.